Alright guys, welcome to your 20th tutorial. By the way, 20 is my favorite number and this is probably going to be my favorite video I made in a while because in this video, we're finally going to be finishing up this CSS file. So basically, we made three different layouts. One that can hold one column, one that can hold two columns, and one that can hold three columns. So now, the only thing we have left to do is make the individual columns. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So footer, whenever we have something with the class column one. And what I want to do now is I want to style all of the columns. So you know up here, even though each of these different layouts has a different width, they all have similar properties. So let's go ahead and style all of the similar properties of these columns first. So when we're working with a column that's one wide, two wide or a three wide column which is pretty much a big fat column it doesn't matter the first thing we want to do is display these columns as inline and also float them to the left now if we display them as a block then what would happen is you see how these columns appear right side by side next to each other if we display them as a block then they would be stacked on top of each other like blocks so whenever we display them as inline and float them to the left that makes them appear side by side of course now another thing that we want to do is position them relative and also give them a margin left of five pixels and also, oops, not one, five pixels and a margin right of five pixels. And this just allows us to, whenever we uh, have multiple columns, that it has spacing to the left and the right of it. If we didn't have any spacing at all, then it would look like one big text paragraph. And of course we need spacing because, you know, if we wanted one big text paragraph, then we would just write one big paragraph. This is a layout with columns, so that's why we want to give it spacing to the left and the right. Otherwise, what's the freaking point? All right, so this is the same property in all columns. You want them pretty much not to be stacked on top of each other and some space on the left and the right hand side. All right, simple enough. However, how are these columns different? Well, the only thing, the only way that they're different is the width of them. So column, and I probably shouldn't mention this if I didn't already. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna create a layout and we're gonna be placing columns inside that layout. All columns must be placed inside a layout. So column one, remember, whenever we have a layout that can hold one column, the entire layout is 140 pixels wide. Now a single column is, let's see, I can actually I didn't even do that yet. All right, now a single column has a margin left and a margin right of pretty much 10 pixels altogether. So we have 140 pixels that we can work with and we already took away 10 pixels. So that must mean that a single column width can be 130 pixels wide. Now I wanna say this one more time because it's important. All of these columns, a single column, a double column, and a triple column, they must go inside a layout. A single column has to go inside a single column layout, or actually it can go inside either, but a single column layout can only hold a column that's one wide. The layout is 140 pixels wide. Now when this single column is 130, and then it has a five pixel to the left and right, that makes up the 140. If we made this 131, then the column would be bigger than the layout and it wouldn't work out. So now let me go ahead and style the other two. All right, so when you have a double column and a triple column, a double column is 270 pixels. Now, why did I do this? Well, one more time. Whenever you have a two column layout like this one right here, this entire thing is 280 pixels wide. So what you can do is you can add two single columns, which make up 140 plus 140, which is 280, or a double column, which is 270 
plus 5 on the left and 5 on the right which is 280 so if you guys can figure out what this one is going to be 410 so you, remember you guys should remember this a three column layout is 420 so you can either do 140 plus 140 plus 140 or 280 plus 140 or just 420 fits in 420 so that is basically how we're going to arrange this these are individual columns that are either one two or three wide single double or triple and they have to fit inside a layout that takes them so basically you can't put a triple column inside a single column layout you can't put you know eight doubles inside a triple column every your columns have to add up to the layout that's it boom roasted simple enough so anyways in the next tutorial we can save this file freaking forget about it and we're gonna be moving over to the HTML file and then and only then finally we're gonna see how everything ties together into a beautiful ballet of the most brilliant footer the most beautiful footer ever created in the history of mankind so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video and please check out my website buckysroom.com